Hi everybody, I'm Danny Dancer. I am the social studies educator here at Children's Museum Houston, and today's Brain Break is brought to you by Bank of America. So on the third Monday of every January, we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And this is a day that most kids have off school. A lot of adults have this day off work. And on MLK Day, we are not encouraged to see it as a day off where we sit at home and like catch up on our TV shows. Actually, we're asked to look at MLK Day as a day on. It's called MLK Day of Service, where we give our time or our money to help those in need. Now giving our time might mean we are volunteering with a group to help out, or it might just be doing a few things on our own like picking up trash in our neighborhood. That's one way that kids can volunteer pretty easily. And donating money is also a way that we can help out on MLK Day of Service. Now we talk a lot in these videos about different choices that we can make with our money. We've talked about how we can spend money, save money, invest money, and also share or donate money. Now we only give a little bit of our money, we save a little of our money, we invest a little of our money so that we can meet all of the different needs we have in addition to helping others. Now for kids, this might be kind of tricky because of course kids don't have a really big income. So when you think about giving just a little bit of the money that you have for kids, sometimes that just means a few pennies, right? And a penny is a pretty low value. A penny is how much? Do you remember? One cent, okay? And so what can you buy with one cent? <gasps> Not much. It's true. So one cent by itself doesn't feel like a lot of money to give, but maybe you have a few cents. You can gather a few pennies together and say, okay, this is something that I'd be willing to give. Now, another idea that you could try for MLK Day of Service, if you are interested, is not just donating a little of your money, but encouraging friends, family members, other people in your city or your community to also donate a little money as well. It's called Penny Power, and it's where you work with other people to try to get everybody to just find a few pennies that they can contribute so that you have a larger amount of money to donate and you can give that to an organization or a charity that you all agree on. Now this is something that for kids, again, it's hard to do this all by yourself, but you might be able to work together with your school, you might work with your community center, sometimes you can go into a store and ask if they would mind if you just put out a little bucket to gather these pennies and make sure you let the people know who are donating their money what the cause is, what the money is actually going towards. And eventually you'll see that your few pennies can start to add up. All of a sudden, we can gather quite a few pennies, and then you can gather even more pennies until you have more pennies still, and yet more pennies together. And would you believe that when you get all of these pennies, all added, oh my goodness, it weighs so much. When you get all of these pennies together, it's the same value as this bill. That's right, this is $20 in pennies. And this is something that kids can do working together with others in your communities to help those in need. So if this is something that you are interested in doing, whether you volunteer your time or whether you see if you work together with others to find out ways you can help donate money, these are all wonderful choices that you can make, not just on MLK Day of Service, but any time during the year that you see people in need who you wanna find a way to help. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me for today's Brain Break, as well as this entire Count On Me Wonder Week sponsored by Bank of America. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so that you can check out more great videos like this on financial literacy, as well as all sorts of other great topics from us here at Children's Museum Houston. Thanks so much, and we'll see you all again soon. Bye.